Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to my channel. I just subscribed to Full Self Driving on my 2019 Model 3. This is my very first trip on the highway with autopilot. And I'm trying to get Navigate on autopilot working. Look at this guy. Taking it like a champ. All right, so the car's driving by itself. I do have my hand on the wheel for safety. Since they updated the car to V11, I'm not too sure where it, that's, okay, there we go. Navigate on autopilot is now activated. So I should be able to lane change just by uh, applying my blinker, which is something I really wish I had on regular autopilot. Just that itself and summon, I think those are the two features that I'm more uh, likely to use. I don't think I'm going to use auto park because I just go into my garage and then park at work in a spot that does not doesn't even have uh, lines to park in. So I just wanted uh, to share with you guys my first experience with FSD full self driving in this car. I did pre-order another Model 3, a 2022 Model 3, long range, white on white, white interior this time. And just because they offered me pretty much what I paid for this car, which, I mean, a couple thousand dollars under what I paid, and I was like, might as well just upgrade and get the latest car with the, hopefully I can get the new lithium battery, 12 volt battery, the new headlights, heat pump, power trunk, heated steering wheel, and it's whoever knows what other upgrades Tesla has done. So I will say, even just regular autopilot, I've noticed that it's been, I think, doing a lot better from previous versions. So right now we're gonna let this car pass on my left and then we'll switch lanes. see how that works so we'll put the blinker here car is changing lanes on its own that is so cool and it turned off the blinker that that's awesome so this is amazing like if you're going on a long road trip somewhere having this type of feature just makes everything a lot smoother Oh, and the car's going to change lanes by itself. Oh, snap. It detected the other 18-wheeler. All right, so I had to move the blinker there to confirm my lane switch. And I guess it thought the other 18-wheeler was right next to us, but it wasn't. So I currently have a safety score of a 97 and once I get to a 98 or a 99 I'm gonna try and apply for the beta program. I doubt they'll let me in since I'm probably gonna be trading this car within uh, a month as soon as this uh, subscription is over but I'll give it a shot guys. If I do get it I'll go driving around uh, city streets. So this is taking me a different route than I normally go home. Uh, it's actually another exit after the one I usually get off. But it might be because of the traffic. I'll just let it go. course when I get uh, full self driving I don't get cars that go slow in front of me so usually I have to be switching lanes all over the place. Oh 
Oh yeah, that reminds me. Another thing I did uh, learn this morning was the car now, even on regular autopilot, will slow down if there is uh, an emergency vehicle on the side of the road or just driving by you. This morning there was a police officer that had his lights just on solid, no blinking at all, no flashing, just solid lights, and the car was slowing down when I was in autopilot. I mean, driving on autopilot, hopefully it's going to increase my uh, safety score. Yeah, so the exit that the car decided to take, that's a very tricky one to do because you have to exit and then you don't have a lot of space to move over three lanes. So we'll see how the car does. Everybody. I love that automatic lane changing. That is awesome. Switch over to the right. Thank you. 